All right, you're asked to find the weight of this object right here. And uh, we are assuming that this system is in equilibrium. Well, when an object is in equilibrium, it means the net force acting on that object is equal to zero. Uh, with that being said, all the forces in the x direction is equal to zero and all of the forces in the y direction is equal to zero as well. So in order to find the weight of this object, we need to find the tension in this cord. And in that case, we're golden, we're done with this question. Uh, let's draw a free body diagram for this question. Oops, x and y. Um, in the x direction, we have this one. We have a 40, 40 newtons in that direction. Uh, if I call the tension in this chord T1 and the tension in chord 2, T2, we have T2 in uh, this direction because of the gravity is pulling down this object. And we have T2, sorry, T1 in that direction. Um, well, we know that from here to here is 50 degrees, right? So that means from here to here is 40 degrees. 40 degrees. And I can write that here also. All right. Um, so let's find the components of T1. The component of T1, one of them is right here. And its value is T1 cosine of 40 degrees. And the other component is right here. And its value is equal to T1 sine of 40 degrees. So in the x direction, we have only this tension and this one, right? So we know that, again, in the x direction, we have to have uh, the sum of all the forces have to be equal to zero, right? Uh, so in the x direction, we have negative T1 cosine of 40 degrees, negative because of the direction of the tension, which is to the negative uh, x direction, plus that one, which is 40 newtons, and it has to be equal to zero. Now for the y direction, what we have is we have this tension, which is exactly the weight of this object, negative two t, uh, t2, sorry, plus uh, this one, which is T1 sine of 40 degrees, and that has to be equal to zero as well. From the first equation, we can easily say that T1 equals 40 newtons divided by cosine of 40 degrees. And from here, we can find T2, which is T1 sine of 40 degrees. So we know that, again, T1, T2 is equal to the weight of this object. So we can say W is T1 sine of 40 degrees. We already found the value of T1, right? If you plug that number into this equation, we have W is equal to 40 newtons times uh, sine of 40 degrees divided by cosine of 40 degrees. And we know from trigonometry that sine of theta over cosine of theta is equal to tangent of theta 
So we can rewrite that as 40 newtons times the tangent of 40 degrees. And this is the value of uh, weight for this object. Thank you for watching.